I've had a few very interesting weeks with uh, Covid and then a vacation to Riga but I still had a chance to complete some of the things I wanted to do. I already made this two channel amplifier and for this project I needed a three channel so I needed left right and uh, sub. In addition to that I would have used a low pass filter and I found this one on Aliexpress very inexpensive and I had this makeshift power supply. Not safe but it will work for the prototype. This low pass filter has one control for volume and one for the frequency. This enclosure is identical to the one I printed in the last video but this is then using the brown eSun PLA Plus. I scaled this enclosure up by about 20% and made room for the Mark Audio driver and uh, it's a sealed box this time. In my second video about a 3D printed sound system I made a Jesmanite filled speaker case. I decided to redesign the front baffle of this one and attach it to the Jesmanite enclosure. This was attached or bonded with Tech 7. Subwoofers are an important part of this build and I built the smallest subwoofer with a Dayton 4 inch driver. This driver is very inexpensive as well. I like the technical information they are publishing with detailed mechanical design and everything you need to design the enclosure. For the slightly larger subwoofer I chose a driver from GRS. This is a low profile 4 ohms driver and they have also published all the technical data you need to design your enclosure. To complete this project I printed a couple of speaker shelves and I also printed a 20% larger version of this to fit the larger Mark Audio enclosure. I spent a lot of hours in Fusion with this project. Sizing the box was easy enough and just to remove the vent was easy. I then did uh, this uh, retainer ring for the nylock nuts to keep them in place, making it a bit easier to install the driver. I split a part of the front from one of the other boxes and made it to match the Jesmonite case. Jesmonite is a heavy micro cement I easily can use in these enclosures. I wanted some compact subwoofers and decided to go for sealed boxes and two different sizes. The smaller case was for the 4 inch driver and the larger one for the 6.5 inch driver. Both of them should be filled with Jesmonite micro cement to make them heavier and uh, less resonant. There's also room for filling Jesmite around the front and the back plate of this enclosure. Designing the shelves was a fun part of this design project. The three channel amp is identical to the two channel amp, just had to add a section to it and a larger back plate. That was a very easy job. I didn't want to spend a crazy amount of time of designing something for the low pass filter. I wasn't sure if it was going to work. So I just did something very basic for this prototype. Printing all this stuff took almost forever. And I used more than 10 spools of Sunlu PLA. I had a few failed prints for the most part everything went smoothly. I did have my first problem with the Bamboo Lab AMS. I've had very few problems with these printers but this time when the filament ran out it got stuck into the AMS and uh, it wasn't able to start on a new roll of filament. I had successful changes of filament automatically in, on some other occasions but this time it just didn't work. I had to have a closer look at the AMS, turn it around and try to move the filament but it was completely stuck. This is where it stopped, it couldn't pass through this part. And this is all it took to prevent the AMS from retracting the filament correctly, just a small kink. I did manage to get everything printed in the end and uh, all the prints came out beautifully. And this is the Sunlu PLA. You might recognize this enclosure from a previous video but I printed a new front for it for the Dayton driver. And I will bond this to the box with Tech 7. I don't like using brass inserts for this so I made this ring with nylock 
nuts inside and I like that better. The GRS driver didn't come with a shim so I printed my own on my A1 Mini. In this project I wanted to revisit working with Jesmonite. Jesmonite is a micro cement you mix with a acrylic liquid and a base powder. You mix the two components based on weight and you're supposed to have 2.5 times more base than liquid. I'm not too great at doing this and uh, maybe it's a good thing that I don't know all that much about weighing white powder. Next up is finding the right amount of liquid and you have to be precise to get this right. Jesmonite is quite expensive and I'm sure you could use something else. I'm using it because my wife is running a web shop and she's selling Jesmonite and some other stuff as well. So I have easy access to it but I did have to pay with it for my own money. And uh, no discounts for me. The next step is to mix the liquid and the base powder and we are using a silicone bowl for this as it's easy to remove anything remaining after the mixing. And I'm using a silicone stick to do this as well. And the point here is to get this mixture free from lumps and without any air bubbles. It would be even better to use a mixing blade for this. But for this I'm just using this mixing pin or stick. It's also important not to get any air into this mixture and get everything lump free and free of all air bubbles. That will make the finish better. In this case I'm not too concerned about how this will look because it will be inside the 3D print. But I don't want any big air pockets in this. That should be good enough for me. I decided to design and print these green funnels. That should in theory make it more easy to not spill all over the place. And I guess it sort of worked, but wasn't really necessary. In addition to filling Jesmonite in the pockets in the box, I also wanted to fill the back plate around the opening for the connectors. Pouring Jesmonite from this silicone bowl was working quite well and I didn't really need the funnels. You could direct this into the openings of the box without any problems. And it also took a long time for this to flow through the funnel. I ended up mixing more than 4 kilos of Jesmonite and that was the most expensive part of this project. But I think it was quite satisfying to work with the Jesmonite. It's easy to do and you get a good result and it's a good combination with 3D printing. This is the back plate with Jesmonite filled in and this is the main boxes. I made a mess as usual but it doesn't really matter. At least not for this application. We then have to wait 24 hours for the Jesmonite to harden. With everything printed, drivers mounted and all the Jesmonite hardened we are ready to listen to how this sounds. Demonstrating sound quality on YouTube is almost impossible, but we'll go for a reference this time, and that will be the Steinway Grand Piano. It should sound great on a good speaker. Now introducing the subwoofers.
And now to a totally different type of music. Introducing Subwoofers. If you watched all the time until now then I am really impressed. Bye for now and maybe I'll see you again in a future video.